Oh my gosh, is that a person out there? <sighs> I've got to stop. <clears throat> hey, do you need a ride? Where are you going? Ah, oh, well, you're in luck then. I have to go down there for a job, so hop on in. <laughs> you know, I normally don't pick up hitchhikers, but gosh, seeing you out there without a, even a raincoat. Uh, if you reach behind you, there's a nice heavy blanket in the back somewhere. Yeah, it has a couple of stains on it, but it's warm, dry. You look absolutely soaked, so I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Here, let me turn on the seat heating. Uh, yeah, I think something might be defective about it. You can't turn it all the way up, but it's on. Uh, I need to get around to fixing it, I know. But you know, the, meeting's, the medium setting is fine. It should be just enough to make sure you don't catch a cold. So, what are you even doing out here in this kind of weather all by yourself? We're quite far from the city, you know. <laughs> the weather forecast said that there's a thunderstorm cooking up and advised people to stay indoors, so... Oh, jeez, you're kidding. And they just kicked you out in the middle of nowhere? What kind of friends are those? Well, you're lucky anyone's even driving this way with how the weather's behaving. I was thinking about taking the main road first, but I had a feeling there might be an accident considering how wet the streets are, how little you can see through the rain. I suppose we're both glad that I didn't, right? <laughs> but we will have to go on the highway in a little bit. Let's just hope the other drivers behave. So, the um, radio isn't working at the moment. With the bad connection and a few other bugs in the system, we're either going to have to just fill the ride with awkward silence or awkward banter. And I'll let you choose. I know, I really have to get that fixed, but I've been so busy lately. Yeah, I travel a lot for work. Never get to stay in one spot for very long, you know? Oh, it's nothing. I'm used to it, I'm used to it. I've accepted it, especially because I don't have anyone waiting at home for me. That makes it really easy. It's kind of a liberating feeling, actually. Somewhat of being free to see more of the country without having to worry about anybody else's feelings. Enough about that, though. I'm sure I'm already boring you. And honestly, I don't really like talking about my personal affairs too much. I'm not even sure why I'm telling you this to begin with. You know, you just have a very relaxing aura. You could make for a good spy, I'm sure. <laughs> so, why were you and your friends even out here in the first place? Uh, what? You were camping? in this weather. Oh, the more you tell me about these people, the weirder they get. Is this the right way? I hope you're not in a hurry, because I don't plan on going much faster than this. This car is company property, and I'd rather not get scolded by the boss again. As good as my reflexes are, you can't really see in front of you at all. I'd rather not risk it. You look comfy. Have you warmed up a little by now? <laughs> I'm glad. 
We still have a little bit to go until our destination, but you're rather nice company. I never thought a hitchhiker would be so refreshing. Got new info on your target. Picture sending now. <laughs> um, that's awkward. I uh, could have sworn I turned that off. Wait. That... Is that you in the picture? You've got to be kidding me. Well, let's just turn that off and pretend like nothing happened. I mean, what else are we supposed to do? I can't just take you out in the middle of the road. In a company car, nonetheless. The cleaning bill and damage to the inside. Oh, it'd be too much trouble. And the next exit is still a couple of minutes away. <sighs> Don't even think about opening the door. Despite how slow I'm going, we're on a highway and heavy rain. You'd cause an accident and probably traumatize whatever poor driver can't stop the car in time. Look, we'll figure this out somehow, okay? Just stay calm and don't try anything stupid. Look, there's no weapons in the glove box. Just a bunch of papers, some tissues, sanitizer wipes. Unless you plan on chewing up my documents and spitting them at me, that won't really help you. You know, actually... There has to be a little box of mints around there somewhere. Could you dig that out for me? No, it's not a trick. I just really like the way they taste. You can have one too if you like, but they're a bit spicy. <laughs> Come on, I'm just trying to ease the situation a bit. There's no sense in letting tension grow even worse for the next few minutes, don't you think? You know what? What did you even do to somebody that would make them want to kill you? You don't seem like the type of sleazy gangster I usually have to deal with. <sighs> no idea. Hmm. Strange. Anyways, I suppose my initial idea of inviting you to dinner won't work out too well anymore. <laughs> Jeez, what a weird situation to be in. I, um, you looked hungry. I didn't get the chance to ask you yet, but I was going to suggest it when we got to the city, but that idea might be down the drain now. I guess I'll have to find a nice secluded spot for the two of us. And not in the fun way. I mean, even if you were to run away, I'd only lose my element of surprise. And maybe dinner ha- Maybe dinner together could be fun, right? <sighs> yeah, dumb idea, I know. Associating with the target, not something I ever thought I'd try. At least not like this. And what a strange coincidence, too. You were on the side of the road for some random chance event. And somehow I received the job to find you just as you're sitting in my car, cuddled up in my blanket, soaked in the rain. However, if I've learned anything in my time being, it's that looks can be very deceitful. But I've never had anyone put up that good of an act. Normally, I can see right through people. They may have an innocent face, but you can tell by the subtle undertones in their voice, the way they stare at you a little too closely, the nervous glancing around, or having a way too casual stance. Or how a fine muscle on their face keeps twitching, but you, you're a tough one. I can't hear so much as the slightest hint of guilt or evil intent in your voice. You don't switch up at all when that message came through. If anything, you just seem scared, like a mouse trapped in a cage. You try to puff up your fur to seem bigger, scramble around to find something to protect yourself with. You don't seem like a bad person. I can't think of any reason... Why somebody would want to get rid of you, can you? <sighs> Maybe you upset somebody. Or seen something you shouldn't have seen. <sighs> I 
As if that matters now. Even if you were entirely innocent, you've seen my face. You know what I do. Or at least you've got a pretty good hint. It doesn't take a detective to connect the dots. I can't just let you skip off on your jolly way. Maybe it would have been better had I never stopped to pick you up. But you probably would have caught your death out there too. Well, not like it's any better in here, right? <laughs> this really is quite an unlucky day for you, whichever way it would have ended. And there's our exit. Well, do you have a favorite restaurant in town? I mean, prisoners also get a last meal, don't they? You seem nice. You probably deserve it. Uh, we don't have to, but I'm getting a bit hungry as well. It's been a long day, and I think we both deserve a nice meal. Anything you want, I'll pay. I mean, it's the least I can do, right? <laughs>